Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I am going to be planning the week of Monday, September 24th, pre-planning in my hourly. Um, I am actually, what I've been doing lately is splitting kits between my B6 and my hourly um, while I'm still just like figuring out exactly how this is gonna work. I am using this exclusively for work now instead of like for work and other events. So this is like exclusively for work. So here is my spread this week in my B6, which the plan with me for this has already gone up. It is linked below. So this is the spread like using this kit and I give my B6 first crack. Um, and then here is what I have left, most of the full boxes. Um, a bunch of like functional things, um, ton of little things, headers, um, a couple of checklists. Um, I had this, Oh, I'll get back to that. Some washi, some icons, a bunch of half boxes, which is good because I have training this week. I have this like extra that matches the kit, or at least this stuff does, although this is in glossy and the other one is in matte, then I might bring some of that in. Um, and then I actually just grabbed a bunch of extra checklists from um, a couple different spreads that I had that I thought the colors kind of went because I didn't feel like I had enough checklists left in the kit. Um, and I tend to use a lot of checklists in here. Um, I am going to be bringing in Simply Gilded Fall Washi. Um, I'm going to use the same ones that I used in my B6 this week. And um, I am going to jump in. So while I was away, like while I was on maternity leave, this was like probably my most requested thing like on my channel. Um, like my planning style has obviously evolved a lot over like the past, you know, nine months or so that I've had this channel. Um, but like, I don't find that people really ask for like some of the old stuff to come back except for my hourly. Like a lot of people seem to really like um, seeing my hourly spreads. Of course, it just made no sense on a personal level for me to do an hourly planner. Um, while I was like not working because I just don't have that kind of life. Um, I'm not like in a need of an hourly life um, when I'm just with like at home doing nothing. But um, I find it really useful for work. I do a lot of meetings at work. Um, as you, if you've seen my channel, you probably realize. Um, and I uh, also do, um, it's good to like, just basically, and I also just don't work super set hours. I work like a reduced work week and like I um, have to hit a certain number of hours a week, but I don't like have to do them at a specific time. So I find, so I find an hourly planner for me for work as being like, incredibly practical and like actually pretty necessary um I mean I have an outlook calendar obviously from work but I I need like a physical copy too and I like that a planner can be moved around the house I mostly leave it in my office but like you know if I decide I want to work in another room or just like want to reference it I don't know I just I really like having like a physical accounting of of that um I also find that it like kind of makes timekeeping a little bit easier. Um, it makes me like feel organized and prepped for the week. Um, so I do really, you know, I get a lot out of having the hourly planner. Um, um, so anyway, it's, it really helps me. And then the other like question I get is like, do I really sticker? use this many stickers in my plan in my work planner and still find it functional. And to me, the answer is like, absolutely. This is a hundred percent functional for me. And I like decorative planning. Um, but it doesn't mean it's not functional. I mean, all my planners, like, well, my memory planner isn't really like functional for planning. I like having it and keeping it forever. But like, other than that, it's not, it doesn't really serve any other function. Um, but this is, you know, 100% functional. Um, my B6 is also very functional, but um, this is like the most functional of my planners. Um, but I do really just like having it. Um, I wanted to do a coffee one, but like I like, I want to be able to cover a little bit with the flag. So I'm um, just going to stick this on here. Ugh, I hate the circles. I love the hourly planner, but like these circles, I just... I really am not into them. 
But yeah, so anyway, so this is my third week back at work from maternity leave, and um, I, I'm not going to be able to film in here every week. It's just, like, too much, and honestly, sometimes I just, like, do this kind of, like, quickly and piecemeal, um, and sometimes I do it, like, more in advance, like this week. I just, I have a ton of meetings this week um, because... Um, because we have some training this week, so I also know, like, a bunch in advance. And then, um, we have, like, a little bit of childcare complications this week. So, um, I thought this would be a good week to plan in advance. Um, so on the sidebar here, what I've been doing, and I'm liking it, I've been making, like, a big to-do list for the week. Some of this I do in advance and some of this I do, um, you know, through add things throughout the week as they like come up. And this is like, I don't know, sort of like my bigger to-dos for the week, whatever. I probably am going to like, I'm trying to still figuring out exactly how like I'm going to work in this planner. The thing like, it's Monday through Thursday. It's working super, super well. But then I don't... I try not to do, like, a lot of work on Fridays. I have Friday if I need it to, like, finish up my hours. But I try to do most of my hours Monday through Thursday and then just a little bit on Friday. So I don't really need a ton on Friday. And then I really try not to work on the weekends. Um, but, like, like I said, if I need to, I can. Um, but it's not, like... That's not one of my goals. So... Okay, so this is an old Whimsical Plan Kits. Um, I, the paper is not really that similar. It's a matte, but like Thinky and the Brain Matte is much thinker, thicker. But like I think the colors, this is like honestly almost the same blue. So I'm definitely going to be pulling heavily from that. I love uh, getting to dip into my leftovers. Um, this was an, actually a piece of the bottom washi, so I think I'm going to uh, just... I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit more than two checklists. Oh, and then I'll have space for a box and I can leave myself a reminder that um, someone I work with is going to be out on vacation all week. Um, so that's always like a good reminder to have because it's someone that I work with quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so anyway, um, and then this list is going to be for like notes for next week. I'm just going to use a to-go header. I don't really know what this header is for. Um, and I don't have like, a, I must have already used my next week one, um, which I like having notes for next week in both my planners, like work notes for next week and in my personal planner. I find that like super, super a useful thing to have. Um, so yeah. Okay. All right. So I think I actually just have this like one little thing and I'm just going to do, um, and this was just like cut from that same, uh, whimsical plans sheet. And I'm just gonna do that with an asterisk from the kit. And then I will leave myself that note there. And then I'm going to put baby bows on the either side of this. Ugh, I so love the fall pre-sale washi, like the, just the Simply Gilded pre-sale washi. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I'm so happy to have it. Um, and yeah, I, okay, so then like what I do basically is I go through, um, and I've already like penciled in, I'm not sure if you can see that or not, like all the times I know I have like meetings and some other random things and I put that in first and then I leave like a lot of space for checklists. Like here is my spread from last week and I just like have a lot of like little checklists throughout the week that I do on a, day, on a given day where there's space and then I also will just add in full boxes as I have space for them. Alright, so on Monday our... Uh, nanny is working, so I'm going to put in this little thing to mark her hours. That's like obviously before she, oh, that scratched some of the color off. That's fine, um, but that's obviously before she gets here, but and that is that. And then I have training this day, but I have like a ton of, I just, this is, a, Monday is going to be killer. Um, okay. 
Okay, so I have uh, two training sessions this day that I'm in. Um, they're actually like back to back. I'm gonna put something straight line in between just to like break it up a little. Um, I just don't like the way that like two half boxes look like back to back, if that makes sense, because it's just like too rounded. I like, uh, I like a, it just makes it look like, I don't know, it makes it look a little funny in my opinion. But anyway, so I have two strain, two trainings. And I try and I put things like on the hour, but like if I want to shift it a little bit so it looks nicely, like I'm not like super fussed about it, but a do like be near the hour, if that makes sense. Okay. And then before that, I actually have um, two other meetings. All right, I'm going to use this flag for one of them because one of them is like, uh, it's like a little bit longer. And then I'm going to use um, just like a little icon for the other one and then I'll just like write in the other one and then there's not really space anything for anything there so I'm gonna add in a little bit of washi I do have deco with this kit too so that's really helpful I'm also like trying not to be like such a stickler about whiting things out in here um, I just it makes it so much faster and like honestly it doesn't really bother me that much and like this is not meant to be like keep it forever memory spread although I probably like will have a really hard time throwing this out because especially because I did used to use that like as my like kind of all-in-one planner uh, so anyway that afternoon or evening I'm probably gonna need some kind of like really big treat after such a crazy hard day um, I'm gonna use one of these full boxes to just kind of finish that day out. And then um, I'll just put a little bit of baby bows there as well. With training, I kind of knew what I'm gonna be doing all day. And then I can hopefully get some evening time to recover. And I probably like, usually I film on Monday nights, but I have a feeling like I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna do that on Monday night. I'm just gonna like wanna zone out and chill. That's gonna be a really long and hard day. So Tuesday, my daughter has school, which if you watch my other plan with me is that should sound familiar, but I have to drop her off, um, which I don't usually have to do. So I'm gonna use, oh, actually, let me grab a character sticker too. I have these little drop-off munchkins from Once More With Love. So stinking cute. Um, I'm gonna like layer that with the flag, with that from the kit. Just like a reminder, because usually my husband takes her, but um, I have to take her this morning. And then um, after that, my son actually has a doctor's appointment. So we'll just like run and drop her off and then we'll go right to the doctor from there. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna put it this way because the munchkin is over there. So let me grab a doctor thing. Okay, so this is actually from the old Whimsical Plan kit because the one in this kit was the same exact color and I'm gonna use that. That is my son's six month well check. Um, that's obviously in my personal planner too, but like because it does affect my like physical schedule and like my work day, I want to put it in there as well. Okay. This afternoon I have um, a meeting. Just this is a lighter day, so that's good. So I just have one meeting um, in the afternoon. And then I also need to pick my daughter up from school. So I'm gonna grab this flag and this like little cute car doodle from the kit for that. I'm just gonna layer that like that. And then that's really all for, um, for this day, but that's a lot of extra space and I will probably, I'm gonna leave this space open because I'm 
like reality check, I will probably end up having more meetings on Tuesday. I just don't know them, but like this space, I can do like a little, a little checklist um, because that's always useful to have. These um, that are like the ones that I cut down and I can just kind of like uh, grab a little two heart checklist and I will put like a little uh, to do header above it. Ooh, I'm gonna put a today one because it's the color is better. Okay, and then I'll probably just put some deco there. There's really cute deco from the kit. Okay, so then on Wednesday. Okay, so on Wednesday, our nanny's actually away, so we don't have any childcare on Wednesday. So not obviously will not be getting a ton of work done um but i um yeah so that is that and i don't really there's nothing nothing i can do about that she is on vacation so i just have to account for that um and so i probably i'm just gonna put a full box down since i know that i'm not going to be able to really do any meetings or anything in that time and i'm gonna put this one down Okay, so then, um, so then there's like a call that I may try and listen into um, while the kids are on and while the kids are napping, and I do just have a quick team meeting after that, um, which is the kids should fingers crossed still be napping at that point. Um, all right, I'm gonna use this munchkin for that. That would like not be a thing I have to talk on. That would just be like a headphone on, headphones on kind of thing if I can um, make it anyway. I don't know if you guys have those kinds of meetings at work. And I'm just gonna put a little washi in between because there's no space there. All right, I'm gonna leave this blank actually because like um, if I end up needing to do stuff in like the afternoon or in the evening because I didn't really get that much done today and my husband will be home like eventually. Um, so I'll leave that blank in case I want to add anything in there or like make any notes. Um, you know, that's like a probably a good place for a checklist to um, if needed. Okay, so then on Thursday, I have another training session plus a little meeting. A little quick meeting, if you will, in the morning. I use this like at symbol. I use a lot of different icons. This is like my the name of my game for my hourly right now is like to use as much of the kit as I can. Like I just want to like and to use leftovers up and like I don't know. I just I'm not bringing in foil to these spreads yet, except for the simply gilded washi. I just like kind of want to use my stash and not like feel like I have so much leftovers from a kid, if that makes sense. Okay, then I have to, then I have another um, meeting in the afternoon and I actually need to like remember to call into this one from my cell phone. Um, um, just in case it runs a little bit long. So I'm just gonna stick that on this and I'm gonna use like this little time, um, Icon because I do have to uh, pick up my daughter after that. Um, all right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use like this sneaker icon. Um, not that that's really works, but it kind of works. Whatever. And I'm just gonna use a squiggle from the kit. Um, And then that is it for Thursday. Cool. Um, I think this is probably a good place for a checklist too, like a little checklist, because I don't have space for a full box on either side of that, um, obviously. So I can, and like, it's gonna have been really busy, so I can just give myself like a little 
at the top of the day. Just give myself a little... Oh, I do want to mark down that my daughter has school, though. Okay. So, use this other purple squeal for that. Um, and I don't have to take her on Thursday, so... Let's squeeze this in there. Cool. So crooked. And then I will figure the rest out later. So then, um, I'm gonna skip Friday for a second and come back. I haven't even used a coffee one yet on this kit. Ah. I had a pumpkin spice latte this morning, actually, um, and it was delicious. So I'm gonna use two of these and then Alright, I'm going to do a Simply Gilded Washi Banner and with like the weekend um, as well. And actually, I think I'm going to break that up because these are like the same color with like a line of baby bows. Like I said, I really don't need this planner on the weekends. So I've just been like making it extra pretty. Um, and then I've been like kind of maybe thinking on like Friday I'll do some kind of like journaling list prompt. I did it last week. I just like... Wanted, I just wrote down some goals, not like for the week or for like some career goals. And that's what I did like last week. Like I'll call it like for the next year or whatever. Um, so that, that was kind of nice. So I might do that again on Friday. I just like, I don't, like I said, I don't do a lot of work on Friday, but because this week of Wednesday, I may need to do more on Friday. So I want to leave myself some space and then I don't really use this on the weekend. Okay. So this is going to go here and then but I am gonna hang a washi banner first because there's a ton of gorgeous washies to use. Okay, that is super cute. Um, love how these are looking. And I am gonna put that weekend banner there and then I have like a little bit of space if I wanna write anything down, but you know, I don't really, like I said, I don't really need that space. So I am gonna set up um, just like a little journaling thing for this weekend. I'm gonna grab one of these leftover um, ones here and I because I don't even have any more full boxes but I think I'm just gonna put this at um the bottom here um and this will be I don't know what this will be for yet I'll see how the week goes and see like what I'm thinking um but I'm just gonna put in a little bit of washi and then I can you know sort of figure that out later but I'll put in some washi as like a header for that and then I can just sort of figure um it out Later, like I said, but so that'll be just like whatever journaling prompt I want to do for the week. I don't know. And then I just write down like a couple things about it. Um, and yeah, like that worked really well, um, last week. So hopefully that will work well this week. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to add in right now. So I am going to turn the camera off, take some pictures and I will be right back. Okay, that is everything all filled out. I did um, most of my writing in a paper mate flare and then on the side when I needed to write small, I actually just grabbed a gel pen for that. Um, I really like how this is coming together and if you stay tuned to my Instagram, um, you can see how the whole thing turned out. Um, I Okay, so this is how everything came together. Honestly, I used this like medium throughout the week. I'm really like feeling a little bit unsure about being back in here. I like like the way the spreads looks, but I've been having to do notes in a separate notebook and I feel like I want some more integrated noting and listing space. So I'm thinking I might be mixing it up soon on the work planner front. You know, I just, I am a person that does not believe in planner piece. I always want to try all of the things. So, um, <laughs> 
I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I will definitely keep you guys updated with my planner system as usual. Um, so I did use this in my V6 and I showed the V6 at the beginning. And then here is like the week finished out in here. And here is what I have left from the kit. One thing I do love about this is that I end up using like so much from the kit and really not having a lot of leftovers between the two. So I do really like that aspect of this. Um, and I really like having, like being able to like set up my like hour by hour schedule um, each week. So that I definitely need something with hourly, but maybe, you know, in a smaller space or I'm not, I'm not really sure yet what's going to go on. But in the meantime, I will keep posting my spreads of whatever I, it is I end up doing. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at my crafty plans to keep up with all things planner related. Bye.